Hi guys. This is Sun Sun Machine. <laughs> and this is my friend. I'm Cheyenne. Yeah, with a C. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is gonna be. I almost said pick a card reading, but it's not. This is gonna be um, a collaboration reading, and messages can resonate with you guys, of course. I just now realized that, I was just thinking about that, but the purpose of this reading video is actually I'm going to be giving my friend a reading on the seven chakras, and then she will be giving me a reading. So it's just like a fun video, so this isn't like a super like targeted like, oh this is twin flame, or oh this is that, so I guess I can title this chakra video or something. I'll figure it out after we do this video, like what we'll title it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's this <laughs> video! Woo! That's my friend Cheyenne! Also guys, she has a YouTube channel and it's just called Cheyenne Prescott and I'll put a <laughs> link in the description. It's a book channel. It's really good. I've talked about it a few times, but yeah, check it out if you guys feel guided to. She's pretty good at recommending like high quality video or books, sorry. But the videos are high quality too. <laughs> she like edits them and everything. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, and we're gonna do a video on my channel. Soon. Yeah! Woo! And I'll let you guys know about that if you guys wanna watch that video, which will probably be book related. It's very fun because I don't really read. <laughs> um, I read One Piece. <laughs> and I'm trying to get into reading, so it'll be exciting for when that when that eventually comes. Manifesting it sooner and sooner each day. <laughs> yeah, it's been like six years. <laughs> but I'm definitely feeling guided to use this for the root chakra. Mm -hmm. And kind of go with that original plan. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And if these messages resonate with you guys, then cool. And if you guys are just gonna hang out and <laughs> get to know my friend really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting mm -hmm. real intimate mm -hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually feeling guided to use this throughout all seven chakras. Ooh. Yeah. Six, seven. So I think I'm just gonna lay them out actually over here so you guys can see them as well. Me too. Three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! All right, and then we have other decks, which I will probably use to, really to clarify and, and kind of go into the depths. <laughs> All right, so the root chakra. Oh, we get yeah. the eight of cups. I'm not surprised by this. Wow. So the eight of cups is the root chakra. This might be a bit of a blockage with the root chakra something that you need to move on from, step away from, move into a clearer, emo like more emotionally uplifting direction, stuff of that nature. Wow. And then we have the sacral chakra, which is the ten of wands. So with your feelings, holding on to a lot of your emotions right now <laughs> seems to be related to your chakra. To your, to your sacral chakra. Mm -hmm. You're holding on a lot. Um, wow! <laughs> and then with the solar plexus chakra, with the willpower and the creation and taking action aspect is one where it kind of feels like a lose-lose. <laughs> so five of swords. So with your solar plexus, that means you're... To me, this is not meaning that it's a lose-lose in the sense that you're saying words that are harming anyone or hurt, harming yourself but rather that you're not even able to make the actions that you want to make. Yeah. And then heart chakra is another- Wow, you get a lot of- Woo! This is a That's, fun reading! Yeah. I have a lot of dark energy. That's okay. <laughs> I love darkness. So, five of wands. This is a dark deck too, so it'll- That's true. Yeah. I think how the decks are gonna go, maybe we're gonna go with rounds. This is gonna be more of the blockages. But like, I think with all blockages, there's also good things going on with each chakra. So, I think with the different decks, we can focus in on different aspects of what's going on. This might be more the headspace. I'm thinking with four decks, we can do headspace, heart space, 3D space, and soul space. 
okay. and your higher self. So where everything's really at with alignment. We can align all four of those aspects and see where this is going. So, we just thought of that. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so the heart chakra is the five of wands. So your heart is... Now this is uh, more like the seven of cups to me with the five of wands. Uh, to me, this is that your heart is put in a lot of different directions. You do have a lot of love, obviously. We are all beings of love. But it's like um, you're trying to steer the direction of your love into a specific aspect. And I think with Five of Wands, it's like you know which way you want it to go now. Now it's a matter of realigning the rest of your schedule into that. Um, if I can get a little bit personal, it's just about meditation stuff. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? no, that's fine. Is that what you were feeling with this, kind of? Uh, I feel like that's one of the main directions I'm feeling heavily with the Heart Chakra, that you're wanting to go more into a direction where you have a schedule with doing meditations and having crystals and um, the essential oils and more of that and using that as your alignment to put all of your other wands and goals um, in a certain direction. Yeah. So that's the energy I get with that heart chakra. So this is pretty good. This is probably the most positive of them so far. <laughs> but these aren't that bad. These are all actually pretty like, they're, they're fixed. They're all, like, every card is fixable. By fixable, I mean like, like the, the solution is within each card. You know, the 10 of wands is all about this is like holding on, you know, what do you do? You let go. Eight of Cups, moving on, what do you do? You step away, you know? So, like, even though they're, like, dark, it's not, like, impossible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wanted to do this to kind of figure out what my blockages were anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this all makes sense. Cool. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get into Throat Chakra. Woo! Mm -hmm. Throat Chakra, your communication is really good. It's really <laughs> lit. Especially around friends, especially around good times, joyful environments where you don't feel spooked, where you do feel um, appreciated and in the company of people who are like-minded individuals is pretty much what I get from that. <laughs> and knowing you, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> so throat chakra seems to be that there's actually not a whole lot of blockage there. Um, other than like with the eight of cups, that when you're not in this energy or when you are here in this energy around um, uh, pretty much people and environments, because this is root chakra, when you're in an environment that makes you feel like this, <laughs> that makes you feel like everything is broken, um, it's not your, your throat chakra is not going to work that well there naturally, because your throat chakra thrives in a place where vibrations are matching yours. You're in an environment where the vibrations are just simply not matching you. Yeah. Yeah. But then it becomes, it's more like you have to match it, and we see that carry through the chakras up until your heart chakra, and it looks like things are clearing a lot better up here. So it's, it seems to happen a lot for m many of us, I think, for me too, where like the lower chakras are always the ones that need the most work for me, because um, the higher chakras, it's like third eye, and like throat, and like heart, you know? It kind of just like makes sense. Once it gets more to security and safety, that those can be a lot harder to like, keep in balance when there's so much with this 3D world that's like naturally kind of messed with, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas nobody really talks about third eye and heart and, and throat, all that. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> it, they're all challenging, to be honest, but it just so happens that the lower chakras are more challenged. Yeah, I had a feeling like this was going to be, it kind of like gets like slightly more positive <laughs> as you kind of go up the ladder. but. Third eye chakra is the daughter of pentacles. So this is, with this being in your third eye, um, I see this as a bit of a misalignment, pretty much. I see, it's almost as if this pentacle and the rainbow up there is the third eye and it's outside of the deer. So to me, this is saying crown chakra. This is saying the information, the guidance is there um, and with more focus. Oh, my eye is getting kind of like, there's something in my eye. <laughs> but with more focus, um, it's like you can bring that rainbow down with your third, with your mind, and and then and then pick up like messages and stuff. So meditation, something you're pretty much working on. So this is overall, with it being earthly energy, pentacles, it's actually quite positive too. It's just saying like, that's what you're going towards. This is kind of the step you're taking by like, 
putting this into the 3D world, like I am going to set the intention of working with my chakras and meditating, you know? So I really see this kind of reflecting with what you're doing. Makes sense. Crown chakra. We get we get a match here. The, the daughter of pentacles and the mother of pentacles. So, yeah. It's, to me, this is just definitely your higher self saying that you are definitely guiding yourself on your journey and that you're doing, you're implementing this into the 3D. So, it's just how what I was talking about earlier with where you manifest from the top down. It really shows you're doing, like, this is happening. This is current, yes. It, this isn't even really much like advice, but rather like the energy that's actually getting cycled out and this will become more like root, sacral, like solar plexus, if, if you can kind of see that, like a conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is like the plan, your your head space, I would say. Yeah. So I'm gonna put those cards um, over to the side. I like to keep the cards out just in case um, they ever become relevant, because that happens. So we're gonna just put that up there. We're gonna move on to the heart space. Woo! Already eleven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. I know. Okay, while you're shuffling, I do want to say about that, what we just did. Mm -hmm. um, it's really interesting to me because when you were explaining chakras earlier, you were talking about how, like, working things from top to bottom. Uh -huh. And I always saw it as almost like um, the Maslow hierarchy of needs. Do you know what that is? Maslow? It's like a, I think it's psychology thing. It's the pyramid where at the bottom you need, like, stability. Oh, yeah. And it goes up to self-actualization. Mm -hmm. So I always thought the chakras were kind of like that, where you have to work from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. and it's like, a lot like that, too. <laughs> Keep going, though. Yeah. And so, but then you were just saying, like, I have positive energy here, and it's kind of going to work its way down. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's, I don't know, good to hear that it can work the other <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, it can definitely work the other way. Of course. does not have to work just one way. <laughs> I, al I also thought that too, like work from the root and go up. Yeah. Meditation, you can do that as well. It works really well both ways. But yeah, it's good to know you can definitely go top to bottom as well. It's great because everything's cyclical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good news. <laughs> okay. That's funny. This is my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the heart space. It's the root chakra. We might end up having to put this into two parts. Because the video storage space will just cut off my video around 30 minutes. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, so the root chakra. Now this is about, this is rel yeah, this is related to the eight of cups. The four of cups is a opportunity that is heavy that um, you're not ready for, but will be ready for. I see that very related with the root chakra for the thought, the headspace. Once this energy can be cycled out, once you can step away from this energy, this opportunity I see go together will unlock that like whole new world pretty much. So that's just a matter of time as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how this conveyor belt works as too. Um, and then your sacral chakra with the feelings. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me. This is like a third eye card. So with your feelings, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what? The refusing to see. Yeah. It's the two of swords. Refusing to see, it's because you're trying to see, but you're trying to see in a way that's not going to work. Trying to use logic, trying to think about it, trying to literally see when you have to close your eyes and rely on your instincts. You have to rely on your third eye. You have to rely on your gut feeling, which is the sacral chakra. Mm -hmm. So in your heart, um, to me, this is a positive card because when this comes up in a heart space, um, well, it can be a blockage as well. I see it both ways. I see it as a bit of a blockage, but I also see it as like, well, eventually when your heart is trying to see, trying to see all, eventually what's, what it's going to do is close its, its own eyes, your heart, and then rely on itself, if I'm phrasing this right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, so yeah, and another way to see this with the Two of Swords, Two of Swords is a fork in the road, it's a decision that needs to be made, so it's very much with the opportunity beckons, it's just, 
it's just a matter of time when the road reaches the intersection you have to go which way it definitely looks like with the opportunity beckoning you're going to take the opportunity you're going to definitely take that road and choose to see when the time comes it's just right now it's just not possible because that's not how time works in the 3d space even though time is an illusion so with meditation sure it's possible to visualize that and manifest that but in the 3d space when time moves forward um this just has to work itself out with all this energy definitely has to do with this like heavy weight you can't when you have a lot of stuff you care about whether it's good or bad all these wands yes you have to let them go but with with these cups, even though it's painful, it's like you still care about these things that are like no longer serving you, you know? So it's a matter of like the right timing to um, pretty much choose to go with this and cut the rope, so to speak, and move on from this energy. So I like how this is kind of tying into this. So your heart space for the solar plexus chakra is the heart chakra. So that's really <laughs> good. So your heart, to me, this is just saying your solar plexus chakra with your heart is an alignment what you are trying to enact with your with all this stuff going on is going to work itself out right like with your thought process at the present moment in your headspace this if you remember what i was saying about the solar plexus was just basically saying that you're not taking the action um at the present moment like logically you can see that but your heart is saying that that's part of your divine timing and that you definitely know you are planning to take the action when the time is right and when this when everything it's it's really just the whole conveyor belt letting the process work itself out so your heart chakra with the throat oh, sorry with the solar plexus chakra it's pretty good um <laughs> your heart chakra itself that is what <laughs> that is what needs to change focus okay this is the five of cups so your heart in your heart space you are it, you are throbbing perhaps you are still hurting um and your heart is actually still hurt from things that have been lost. Um, even so, and I think that's what kind of ties into like all the different directions with where you're thinking about things with your heart chakra, with how you know what you want to do. So you're trying to make all these wands work the same way. I think it's interesting we get a five of wands and we get a five of cups. Um, I kind of see it as each cup, um, it's about the lost cups from the past and putting them back up and refilling them is what I see a lot with this, with your heart chakra. So it is an energy of pain, but it's better to have pain because that means it's flowing and you're healing and you're working through something. So especially with the heart chakra, seeing this, whoops, conveyor belt, to me, it just means your heart chakra was doing its own work and you brought it down so it can do more work and then you can take in more pain and cycle that pain out through your system as well so your solar plexus your heart chakra both look really good with this conveyor belt assuming this was at the top of crown chakra these ones are probably gonna be pretty good um, we'll see so your throat chakra yeah your throat chakra has learned a lot this is the hierophant this is teach so your throat chakra with your communication you overcame a lot of obstacles and lessons I see me being relevant to this <laughs> with communication <laughs> and so you learned a lot and you taught a lot in the process i learned a lot that's for sure and in all other aspects of your life this must be relevant too um with this situation it's like learning a lot about <laughs> how futile it is to communicate <laughs> with certain people and stuff like that and how yeah. it's best to just move away pretty much so yeah, throat chakra is good. You do get a lot of fives. It's pretty interesting. Um, ch fives are ones of challenge, challenges that you overcome. Um, they're they're conflicts. So your third eye chakra, your third eye chakra needs to open up. <laughs> this yeah, this is exactly what this card was about in the thought in the headspace. Your mind knows it. Your heart knows it. You know it because <laughs> you're your mind and your heart. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the crown chakra. Woo! Spirit is just saying, through Crown Chakra, we are all the Nine of Pentacles. We all deserve, like, a well-deserved reward. We all deserve love, happiness, abundance for ourselves and everything we desire and, and whatever, you know? Because we as individuals 
um, deserve to be here because we're all a part of the collective. Why would a universe not want its own self to be successful, you know? So this being crown chakra, that just makes a lot of sense. So that's the heart space. Really nice. I like that. <laughs> cool. Now we're going to do a 3D space. It's going to be interesting to see the 3D space because we're going to be using this Oracle deck, which is very straightforward. Ooh, hope. <laughs> I like that, but um, if it comes out, it comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven. Oddly enough, there's, there's, it looks like there's going to be some clarifiers. <laughs> so, we'll see if they have to come out at any point. And the bottom one is going to come out because I think the camera saw it. And whenever that happens, I'm watching the video and I'm always like, that bottom card was important. <laughs> so your root chakra, ooh, is passion. So the 3D space in your surroundings, you're seeing opportunity, you're seeing passion, you're seeing direction to go. This to me is that five of wands, how you're trying to enact that. Your 3D space in the root chakra, your surroundings, you have the situations and everything that you need to manifest all this. Pretty good. <laughs> you're learning, your sacral chakra, the emotions, you are, there's a lot to learn, of course, of how to let this go, um, how to release the weight, the burden that you're holding carrying everyone's weight. There's a lot to learn about that. Um, so that's what you're seeing in the 3D space. And then with your solar plexus chakra, yeah, with the taking action, there there's certain conditioning, especially with the Five of Swords <laughs> and the Forbidden, making it feel like you are kind of not allowed to take action, so to speak. So with the Forbidden Door, it's about understanding that you do deserve to say, think, feel, and act on whatever it is that you desire because when you come from a place of love your intentions will only manifest love and so it's it's ridiculous and inoffensive that there are people that could tell you like that your actions will do something else or that you shouldn't act or you shouldn't do something because you need to consider everyone else when if you have an open heart chakra you're naturally considering the universe and so it's like that makes me upset <laughs> with the solar plexus chakra with this card. I feel this is one that I'm clarifying. Yeah, the focusing in on on really opening that forbidden door for yourself. This is the key, it seems. I did feel this was actually the most challenging energy. Taking action can be hard. Um, so really focus on opening that forbidden door. I like 18 and 17, mm -hmm. and I like how it goes top to bottom, how we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really cool. That's pretty much all I have to say there. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Fulfillment. Yeah. So, yeah, oh yeah. So it might be scary. It might be like, well, what's behind that door? You know, I know my wishes are in there, but aren't my fears in there too? Apparently not. Apparently <laughs> just fulfillment is beyond that door. Yes, with your heart chakra, with the five of cups, there's some pain that comes through that. I see that's going to, this, with this being the heart chakra, the, the loss, the regret, going down into the solar plexus chakra, your heart, you know? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the same thing. I think that is Spirit's way of saying, yes, there's going to be some maybe tears by entering the store, maybe some pain, some sorrows, some realizations of loss, um, things like that, um, having to accept the self more, but ultimately it's going to be very fulfilling. So that's pretty cool. Awesome, the video's still going. <laughs> All right, and your heart chakra, woo, is the warrior. And I really need to clarify on this because when I see this card, it's a very specific message for me, so <laughs> rigid. Okay, perfect. So manifest your heart needs to change focus and bring in your masculine energy, which is the energy of moving forward and taking action. It's not so much a twin flame message, but <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely one that you understand. Um, it's one that is about the self. It's, it really isn't much <laughs> Twin Flame, but that's fine. <laughs> but it still can be. It still can resonate both ways, but I am hearing strongly the majority of this message is more so about the masculine energy within the self, especially with Rigid coming up, because when I see Rigid, this is like the Tower card. 
when it's about the tower, it is about you. So that does make a lot of sense. This to me is saying that um, the old needs to topple over to enact the new. Um, and the old being being more imbalanced and the new being more balanced. That, that's about it with that. Just balancing more of your feminine and masculine energy. Um, and so I feel like you have a deep understanding of this. I am really bad with understanding masculine and feminine energy, but I know you have a pretty good <laughs> vision of it because like all like the books and the classes you take and stuff regarding gender and stuff like that. So that's the heart chakra. Throat chakra is taking a leap of faith with with communication. So that is interesting. So your 3D space. Um, so oh yeah, sorry. So with this is seeing that you're doing this. This is the 3D space. This is stuff that you'll be seeing, the stuff that you will actually kind of taking action with all this, which is pretty good. So your throat chakra, what was that one? It was the three of cups, mm -hmm. fun times, and the lessons learned. You're going to be, with what you've learned, you're willing to take the leap of faith. You're willing to take the risk um, to communicate what it is that you want. Um, this, I feel, is very connected to the solar plexus chakra. By opening that forbidden door, I see you're going to be, this is, your. it's like your voice is like, this door, it's, this might be a funny analogy, but it's like saying, open sesame, and then the door opens. It's like, by saying it and taking the leap with your communication, like, okay, I'm doing it, I'm gonna open the door, even if you're not really, like, wanting to, by taking that with your throat chakra, it will, like, because our words are powerful, our thoughts are powerful, Throat chakra is also your thoughts. I do see this as like you will be entering this door, making that choice with your throat chakra. So that's really good. <laughs> your third eye chakra is feeling, so right now your intuition is telling you you're exactly where you need to be, pretty much. This is like the star card to me in this, in, in third eye chakra with belonging. You do feel a sense of belonging and home um, pretty much, at least, um, your higher self does anyways because the third eye is very connected with the higher self um, So I wouldn't be surprised if the soul cards are going to be really cool um, With everything and so that's all I pretty much got to say about that is that yeah You're exactly where you need to be you're in alignment with your path That's a good message <laughs> Throat chakra or sorry crown chakra is a mystery Spirit <laughs> has all the mysteries has a lot of stuff um, should I flip a card on this? Yeah, no, we still haven't looked at the bottom. <laughs> it's interesting you say that because the moon often appears on the bottom. Oh, yeah, there's... So, before you incarnated here, there's the stuff you can't remember right now. I also... This is 50 to 49. This happened earlier with the <laughs> oh, yeah. 18... The seven, yeah, the 18 to 17. Or... I don't remember which way it went, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. But... Yeah, so, uh, there's something called the Akashic Records, if you know about that. Mm. Um, it's basically like contracts that you formed before coming here. Okay. So I see this oath meaning like, um, <laughs> the truth is, is that like, your higher self and spirit does know what you're here for, but you, on your journey right now, don't know yet. That makes sense. We're all learning. We're all still learning all the time. So this, I feel, just should resonate with pretty much everybody. That spirit really has all the answers, all the like mystery, and that there really everything is divine timing. It. The reason we maybe experienced deja vu is because we did perhaps choose whatever this whole reality is for ourselves. Um, this oath, this promise to ourselves. So you're carrying through with the promise, basically. And spirit knows, and it's just gonna be exciting to see that carry through down to your root chakra eventually, and see what your world is like around that time. <laughs> That's exciting. So I'd love to do another update on this in the future. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's the 3D space. Woo! All right. And we're definitely gonna have to hit record for a part two for mine, because the video will cut out. <laughs> definitely will. Do you want to just do that now? No, I think we might be able to do it still. Sometimes it goes to 40 minutes. Okay. So, and then if it cuts out, guys, um, just go to the link. And then, <laughs> yeah. Interesting.
<laughs> and this might come out reverse depending on how I see it. It did flip out reverse, but <coughs> when that happens, it's just telling me to look at other decks. Okay. Very My clear. My soul is <laughs> having some issues, it seems. More like very certain. Your soul has some very specific messages, I would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there anything else? These two, perhaps those ones, along these ending lines. Okay, we'll see what happens. So your root chakra, your soul. Whoa. Yeah, cool. So. <laughs> Spirit is saying, so your higher self is trying to tell you, give yourself a little credit. Give yourself a little credit. You are in a place that seems in inescapable. You're in a situation, it's just like in that book, where, or in that movie, or that show, or whatever, where you're like, Oh gee, how am I gonna get myself out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what your root chakra is. So, yeah, how do you get out of this one? Find out next time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Spirit is saying, give yourself some credit! It's like you're trying, you know, maybe you're, you put some blame on yourself for where you are, or whatever. But your higher self wants to tell you that you're in a situation that's designed to make you feel stuck, designed to make you feel controlled, trapped, not free, but by understanding this and honing in, you also understand, and your higher self, of course, understands that freedom is a state of being, and that you can free yourself where you are, um, even before you're able to physically step away from this energy. Um, so your higher self just wants to tell you to give yourself some credit with your root chakra, with where you are. Your higher self or your solar, or sorry, sacral chakra, is saying, we feel your pain, <laughs> trust us, or trust me, trust your, you know, yourself, you know, your pain is very much being heard, you will be able to release this out as joy, as pleasure. This is just saying, this is, this is gonna happen in due time, <laughs> this is a, a lot of stuff that's gonna have to come out eventually, one way or another, where, whether it's all in an instant, or if it's over the course of days, weeks, however much time, um, it's always a process of cycling out pain and bringing, inviting in joy. And I'm sure, definitely at this point in our lives, you've witnessed this whole process of how when you release stuff, you allow new things to come in. So, yeah, intuitively, picking up on that real good. <laughs> Your solar plexus chakra, your higher self wants to let you know this is divine timing. Perhaps if you, if your ego self worries, am I not acting soon enough? Am I not taking action? Um, or if people make you feel you're not being fast enough, your higher self knows and definitely you know that by not taking action at this time, that you're doing this perfectly, that you're in divine timing. You're always with the flow, actually. Um, so your higher self wants to let you know that your patience right now, being in where you are, um, a little bit stuck feeling is actually the perfect time for you for this tree to finish growing. This is like your ego self, this this dog here, and then your higher self is this tree or your future as well, the opportunities for you. So your ego is like, why do I recognize that this tree, why do I recognize there's something about this? Um, and then the, do the dog as you might be like in this difficult situation, but then once the tree is finished growing and this person can pop out and then the dog looks at the person and sees himself or you know, yourself, suddenly it's like, oh, I get it. I've been waiting this whole time for this. I've been waiting this whole time for the right time. So you, if you're not taking action for whatever reason, which we kind of know a lot of the reasons, which is your surroundings, the spaces, you know, give yourself credit. Um, this, this applies through and through. Give yourself credit throughout all of this, no matter what it is, challenges or whatever that you could feel bad about possibly in any of these chakras put this message through all of your chakras through all of the spaces because you really deserve some reward you really deserve the credit um and your heart chakra definitely needs to release this pain and release it in a way that puts it out into the world um it can feel painful to get it out but once it's out you're going to feel so much better i'm hearing and it's going to manifest pretty beautifully. So, pretty straightforward message with that. Throat chakra, your higher self 
wants to tell you that your throat chakra is very lit through and through all of this. It's very in alignment with I'm you. I'm, like, so surprised by this, honestly. I'm slightly, I thought but my I'm throat not. chakra was, was going to be, like, the worst. <laughs> Maybe not as bad as Root, but I thought it was going to be pretty I bad. I always thought your communication has been really, really lit. At least with us. If, I feel like you're the only person my communication is really good with. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I mean... In your surroundings is this, so I think that makes sense. I mean, I guess. <laughs> more of this and you'll have more of that, you know? Yeah. I also see this as your higher self saying your throat chakra... Um, no, yeah, your throat chakra is pretty good. Like, throughout all of this, yeah, there's a lot of learning to do. How do you apply that? Um, the part that is imbalanced is because your other chakras. Yeah. Yeah, is the main thing. So your throat chakra is actually pretty good. So there's nothing wrong with your communication It's just weird because it's like, this is where I feel... Everything else, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, it feels like I'm blocked there. It can feel like that be Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think it makes sense, too, though. But I know what you're ba Basically, like... No, just what you said, yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Because then it's like, then you worry, like, I'm just bad at communicating or something. So it's feeling blocked. It's blocked for a reason. It's blocked because of all this other stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, your third chakra's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get from this. So your third eye chakra is about speaking your third eye truth, speaking your inner wisdom. So your third eye chakra is good. You're in alignment with this. The, the top three chakras, and this one always, you know, definitely. Crown chakra, spirit wants to let you know you're handling this. You are. You're channeling your pain. With pain, um, spirit just understands the reasons for your struggles and your pains. Um, kind of saw that whole thing coming about like we get why you kind of put the blame on yourself with the throat chakra your throat chakra must be full hot you know there's all these problems it must you must be saying something wrong <laughs> <laughs> but you're not it's all coming from a place of hurt and healing and situations that are just not serving you and those are the final messages um yeah, it's a matter of, this is this is one about waiting. This is basically this card. Yeah. So this is gonna carry through. You're growing. Um, actually, a very positive final message. So, oh, sorry. This is the denial <laughs> card. This is the not ready card. This is the still in process of growing something amazing. Um, so that is the reading. Yeah. Yeah, the chopper reading. I really like this, and I might offer this on my channel now. Like I'll put it in my list of types of readings I do because yeah. I've done this kind of sometimes in the past it's been a while so it's really fun so thank you yes thank you yeah <laughs> and so we're gonna continue <laughs> on to part two for Cheyenne giving me a reading Woo! yeah it will be fun yeah <laughs> I'm actually really excited I need to celebrate slightly with some 420 goodness. <laughs> the guy in medicine, as my friend Jesse Kalen777 has said before. <laughs> Alright, sending love and light. We're gonna talk to you guys in like literally like 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, so see you guys in a bit.